So mooncakes are traditionally eaten around this time of the year to celebrate the autumn harvest. And of course, there's all different types of folklore and tradition in Chinese history. So you guys can feel free to look it up yourselves. Meanwhile, I will show you how to fill these cakes up with a red bean paste and a homemade lotus bean paste. So this recipe is not for the light of heart because there are a couple of steps involved. You can always buy the filling actually pre-made at Asian grocery stores, but uh, for the lotus seed paste, I'm gonna start off with one cup of lotus seeds and I'm just going to soak them overnight up until they get nice and plump. I'm adding in one and a half cups of water and I'm just gonna bring it to a boil and then cook this guy for right around one hour until the beans get nice and soft. Uh, After which I'm just going to mash it with my wooden spoon. Now you do wanna try to get rid of as much liquid as you can. Either way, you're gonna have to cook it off. So try to kind of minimize and have that liquid evaporate. So make sure to have this mixture cool before you do any blending. It is super dangerous if you don't. Um, And you might have seen a little bit of um, the green bits inside the lotus seeds. Those are actually leaves forming and they can make this paste bitter. So kind of um, try to pick them out if you do see them. Uh, And then afterwards, just blend until it is nice and smooth. Now it's time to roast the filling and get it all yummy and good. So I added um, right around two to three tablespoons of oil. You can actually add a little bit more if you want a smoother paste. And then um, right around a quarter cup, a little bit over of brown sugar. And on medium heat, do this nice and slow. You kind of want to caramelize this mixture until it gets like this. But after this point, it kind of, um, it blackens very, very quickly. So be careful and add in your lotus seed paste. Eventually it gets into a thick pasty consistency like this and um, as it cools, it will actually firm up some more. So just set that aside, put it in the refrigerator and um, let it cool. So sweet potatoes are how I do the mock egg yolk. I basically am, I take a melon baller and then I take out a couple of balls from that. Okay, so time for the dough, and this is a very interesting recipe. I have a quarter cup of Lyle's golden syrup, which is uh, traditionally what they use in Hong Kong. Um, I hear you can use honey as well, and maybe probably other syrups might work as well, but I'll put that link down below. And to this, I will add a little bit of oil, a teaspoon of um, alkaline water, and that really helps with the color later as you bake. And then finally, one cup of all-purpose flour.
So the consistency that you're trying to get it to is that of cookie dough, maybe just a little bit softer. Um, after which, just set this mixture aside for right around two to three hours so that um, the flour has a chance to absorb all of that liquid. So this recipe is rather exact. I will put all of the measuring weights down below, but everything needs a weight, like the casing needs a weight, the filling needs a weight. Um, and that's all dependent upon how big your uh, mooncake mold is. So I'll actually put all of that information down below as well as a link to where you can purchase it. So you'll see I have some red bean paste balls in the back, just in case if you guys can't find lotus seeds. I think it's much easier um, to find, but you're just basically encasing everything in everything else. <laughs> So if there was a difficult part to this recipe, it would be right here. Um, this dough is super sticky, it is super thin, so what I recommend is that you definitely use the plastic molds because these wooden ones, they stick like crazy and then you end up ruining the whole moon cake. So um, what I found, so you take the outside casing and you just kind of like lightly dust it with some flour first and roll it out in between two sheets of um, plastic wrap up until you know you get to the point where you think you can wrap up that whole filling in. What I wanna say here is to make sure and dust your hands with some flour as well. It's completely okay. Like you don't want this guy to tear. It is literally um, the worst. So uh, afterwards, get these guys into a ball and um, kind of press it and shape it so that you can see it will fit into the mold. So here's my tip and my secret right here. I have some rice flour on the side that you can generously coat this whole thing with and um, easily brush it off with a brush, okay? That's the thing that people don't tell you is like you can flour it as much as you want, you just can't really incorporate it into the dough. And the reason that I do this is because even with the plastic molds, sometimes, several occasions, it has actually stuck and um, ruined the whole moon cake for me. So. I'm just telling you guys, just reporting it back to you. So that brush is clean. I find that with these fine detail works, I needed like a softer brush to brush off all of that rice flour. So everything's really clean and um, check out how pretty that looks and how pretty all of these guys look. So um, into right around a 400 degree Fahrenheit oven, it goes for right around 10 minutes. And that will kind of um, solidify the outside before we brush it with um, our little egg wash. Woo! 
Oh gosh, so you don't need to color this with um, some turmeric, but I just have some coconut milk and I mixed it with a little bit of turmeric. Sometimes it gets a little too yellow in color, so you can definitely just keep it uh, to the coconut milk, but very, very lightly brush the tops of these and then stick it back into the oven for um, right around 10 minutes. Now, I will say that to get some of that detailing to um, really kind of like darken up, you might have to stick it into the broiler for like one to two minutes, but if looks aren't like completely the thing, then an extra 10 minutes in the oven will do fine. Oh my gosh, how gorgeous do these look? Like they baked up and they colored so much better than I thought uh, that they would. So um, if you look right now, they kind of seem a little bit dry and that is a typical normal reaction. Um, what you're supposed to do is cool them off first and then afterwards put them in an airtight container for right around two to three days and then kind of that oil will shine through and you're gonna get like a much softer, almost like a Fig Newton type of, um, of a coating. So these are they after a couple of days and you can see that they're like shinier, they're kind of like a little bit oilier, but also a lot softer so that when you bite in, it's not gonna be crunchy, it's gonna be actually cake-like. Obviously I'm going to cut into one of these for you. How pretty does that look? And the sweet potato, it's like the perfect color that matches um, a salted duck egg because it's nice and orange. Well, anyways, guys, I hope you all enjoyed that mooncake recipe and I'm happy mid-autumn festival to you all. As usual, if you want to see more recipes like this, remember to hit that like and subscribe button and I will see you all again next time. Bye!